Hi, it's Kelly. This is December 21st, 2015, and what you're about to see is a video from De September 5th. 2015. At the time I was having Meniere's attacks every single day and I would often video journal because I could not talk to anyone or interact with anyone and when I was video journaling a Meniere's attack happened and I left the video camera running so that eventually if I wanted to share about the vid Meniere's attacks that I would have a video to show it. So I am. And I do not have them every day like I did, but they I still happen to me and affect my life. Um, the only thing that's different is that, thankfully, on, on October 9th, 2015, I had a gentamicin injection, and that completely took away my vertigo um, over the course of a, of a month. And uh, I don't have vertigo with the attacks anymore. However, I still do have the attacks, and they are very severe. Um, the warning signs for me that a Meniere's attack is starting to happen is that I get very hot and cold flashes and feel the need to run to the bathroom. I will um, get feel sudden extreme exhaustion. Uh, my hearing, which is uh, already I have a mild loss and eventually I will lose my hearing to Meniere's disease in my right ear, which is my affected ear, but I have a mild loss now and I will notice that it is fluctuating. Um, and then I have ear pain, ear fullness in my ear, and uh, my as the Meniere's attack progresses, my extremities go limp. It's very hard for me to think, and my language starts to, uh, you'll notice I can't talk easily. Um, and also, it's hard for me to focus my eyes on anything. That really happened mostly with vertigo. Uh, I would basically go down straight to the ground, um, not fall, but put myself down. Sometimes I would fall. Um, I would have something called drop attacks where my brain would just lose its ability to know where I was in, in space and um, uh, just it didn't know about gravity and so I would just fall down and, and it was very scary. Uh, but this is, didn't happen, did not happen in this video and um, I also have hyperacusis which is an extreme sensitivity to sound and I cannot be around anyone so the best thing for me when I have a Meniere's attack is to be alone in my room with silence and not moving at all. So I did, this is part of my life and if you have any questions please ask and I'd be happy to answer them in the comment section or if you email me. Um, I hope this helps you out in knowing more about what's going on in my life. Take care. Hey, it's me obviously. Ooh, a little vertigo. Well a lot, but I won't <laughs> talk about that. Um, I'm so exhausted. Actually, I think I'll sit down for just a second. There's my little pal. I still have migraines, um, but I'm able to do a lot more. If the Meniere's wasn't so severe, which I think that's definitely the most severe, I have been having rheumatoid arthritis flares real bad on my hands. Um, golly, my hands are shaking right now. It's This is really rough. But you know, I've got to keep myself positive right now. I just feel overwhelmed because there's so much to do in this house. And oh dear, I do have real bad vertigo. There's so much to do in this house. And us just even our house. Gosh, I think I might need to take a... Oh, I feel like I'm going to vomit. That's not good. Um, okay, okay. I'm just going to sit here and chill. Maybe talking will distract me. Um, this is pretty bad. I feel like I should be sitting on the floor so I don't feel like I'm going to pass out. I mean, I don't pass out, I have drop attacks. I won't, I don't think I would have one sitting up here. I'm a little nervous though, because going down to the floor feels like a really long distance right now. Anyway, so I, I'm really thankful that things have been improved with my uh, migraines. It's just that, um, you know, we don't know how to keep it this way. I mean, and actually this is, you know, I still have migraine every day. It's just that it's tolerable, which is absolutely the goal of every chronic migraineer or anybody who has migraines is like, 
I have had them, um, that little tiny 1%, I mean, you really want to be able to be somewhat functional, and I am somewhat functional. I'm getting there. I'm getting stronger. Um, I'm happy about it. Not happy about this whole car uh, carousel spinning thing. Okay. So, I'm overwhelmed because there's so much stuff to do. Like, I forgot to eat. Look, at you can see right here. Where are we? Right here is the island. That's my food that I got out two hours ago for lunch. And I forgot to do it. I've been to the mailbox and back. I've started laundry. I sorted laundry. I started laundry. I've, I've done... I've texted people, which does take a lot of energy out of me when I'm, especially when I have veneers and issues. I have carried things around the house. You know, it's hard when you're not, you can't talk to somebody, but it's always only through text. It's hard because it's like, sorry, the verdict goes bad. I can't find my shoot. It's, my... it's like I can't find where I am. I'm scared that it's gonna get much. See what happens is sometimes I can't tell where I am, and then oh, that's the thing. There's a lot of corners around here. What's happening is that, well, I can't just explain it right now. My symptoms are that I've got hearing loss that's fluctuating. My right ear is bothering me, but the vertigo is the worst. I feel like I'm on a carousel that's going really, really fast, and I can't. can't I'm trying to talk to somebody standing and I can't find the uh, person. Yeah. I'm worried if I stay up here. Let's see if I can get down. to move my head because my eyes I try to because if I do it makes it worse so I, I feel around for what's around me because I don't know where I am oh this is not good this is when I miss George this is when I need don't like being uh, okay, Kelly. God, please give me strength to get through this attack, please. Of just positive things, and I don't know where the camera is. Sure, you can hear me at wherever you are, but I'm telling myself positive things, just talking myself through it, and I'm praying for strength just, you know, mental strength because it's not going to help me to get upset. There's nobody that. I could call somebody to come, but it's not going to help. There's nothing they can do. Um, so 
sometimes it takes a while. ideal place to sit. Where's my phone? I don't... Oh, I see it. It's on... It's not... My phone's about four feet away from me on the couch. I, f I don't know where I am in space right now, basically. I'm having a hard time figuring out. I feel like I'm falling. I know I'm not falling. Just want, I know that this is not what anyone wants to see, but I want, I hope it's on me, because I want people to know what it's like. I'm having a vertigo attack. And I'm trying to figure out how to turn the camera on. I don't know if I did. A mini years attack, I mean. I was sitting in the chair and talking to the camera actually and I, for some reason it went off. I feel like I'm going to vomit. I can't reach my pills now. I should have brought them down. So what I'm doing is praying for strength. I'm trying to find what, what it feels like is basically being on a... Um, carousel go like going really fast around in a carousel and faster the fast 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 and trying to catch like kind of trying to focus on something with my eyes and I'm not able to do it but what if I close my eyes it gets worse so it will get it will get better I won't this won't last forever, so I, I know that. That's how, you know, this is always how I've gotten through anything I've had to get through. Nothing lasts forever, even if it lasts for six weeks, it doesn't last forever. I can't. This is hard. I mean, I'm sure, it, I, it's hard to think, it's hard to speak. And I feel so satiated for some reason. I have um, scratches on my body from when I fell on Thursday. Twice. I had two drop attacks. Drop attacks are part of my ears. My gosh, this is like, the, it's the weirdest thing because it feels like you're drunk. Well, I don't know what drunk feels like, so I, don't, I can't tell you that. I feels like I feel like I've taken a, a medication that's making me feel like this. Yucky, bad. Because I tend to get really bad side effects when I take meds. Okay, so. Basically, my ear, my ear is the bow. There's the ear that you, the inner ear that um, is the hearing part, and it's connected through this kind of membrane thing to when through window two. Um, connected to the balance portion of your brain, the vestibular portion, your head, your ear, I mean, your ear, not your brain. And, um, so basically, they don't really know exactly why my ears happens, but they, 
theorize. It's like migraine. They don't know exactly what's going on. Like for a while, they thought it was vascular. Now they, it's neurological. You know, they they think it's more neurological. So, um, gosh, this is really. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. So, um, I, I know that this is real, my, I know that probably most people aren't still watching if I did share this, but what I want to share is that it's so important to stay calm in your heart and mind and your spirit, because if you start to get freaking out I mean my earpiece is not is losing its charge it's almost out so I know that the phone is too far for me to get to right now and unfortunately I have to pee <laughs> I don't know why that's funny um but George is in a different state and, like, I mean, it doesn't, it wouldn't help to call anyone. They would do nothing. I mean, they could bring me a glass of water. So what? I mean, whatever. I'm hungry. That's something I should have done is eat. And I'm... I think it's trying... I just, you know, I can't, this type of attack happens multiple times a day. Sometimes it can last for hours, sometimes it can last for days. Oh, come on. I mean, I'm tired now and it's making that accentuated, like I didn't get enough sleep, but for some reason, the vertigo makes me want to sleep. Which maybe the problem is, is when I close my eyes, I feel like I can't. I feel worse. I, don't, I think I don't know if this came across, but I think I was feeling like I was nodding off, and then I closed my eyes completely there, and then my I felt was like felt like I was really fine. The key is just to keep positive. The key is to keep think, you know, knowing that this is going to end, and I can't be upset about it. This is my life, and if I if I sit here and I have a pity party about it, I won't ever be able to live my life and actually feel happy or positive about it. Because I know that this will end and I'll go get some yummy food from the fridge and I'll eat that and feel satisfied. I was, I was about to make a smoothie. <laughs> it's not really smoothie, but it's bananas pureed. I will, actually, I was going to make a smoothie. I got out the yogurt and I have raspberries and strawberries Georgia bought. And I hate this. It's really I think I don't oh, I've gotta to go to the bathroom so badly. I don't know. This is not cool. This is when I I would call George, but he's at his parents, and it would make him upset. And really, actually, I would only call him because I wouldn't want him to help me. Um, like, get to the bathroom or something. He could put me on a card, or maybe I... I mean, I know I could call somebody else to do that, but I... I have to say, it's really, I just, I 
I don't like, I don't want anybody, I don't want anybody to have to help me. I don't want anybody to see me like this. It's, it sounds dumb because I'm not in my video. I, I think the camera makes me feel like I'm not alone because I'm alone all the time. I really don't want to fall asleep. Sometimes when I have vertigo, not wearing my glasses is actually better than wearing them because if I wear them, I spin worse. So, usually I would be in bed or on the couch or this has happened in public. George, this has happened when I tried to go to the one time we came home from being in the beast with the at our church, the special friends ministry. It was so neat, and I was doing well, and but I th I think that um. Oh, there's Giselle. I think that, um, I, I don't know, actually. You, you know, I get, I'm get triggered by weather. There was a front yesterday and the day before that came through. I just kind of sat here. It's awful. Hmm. I guess, like, when I, on the times that I feel real, Conflicted, or I mean, I'm, I'm sure I know what I'm gonna do. Ah, ah. Okay, calm down, Kelly. Figure it out. You're fine. Dear God. Have I not commanded you? Do not be discouraged. Do not be afraid. Brave and courageous. I wish I could focus. I don't like laying down. I feel like I'm falling. It's such a weird sensation. Oh. There's nothing to help, you know. There's other things people don't realize. I don't, there's nothing to help. So I guess like then there's this next treatment. I don't, I want a pillow. I think there's a Giselle pillow here. I'm worried I'm going to urinate. Um. In a way, this feels like my s chronic fatigue hits me. Uh. Uh, uh. 
that. I'm singing prairie songs in my head. Try not to think about having to go to the bathroom. My rollator, I wonder where that is. It's over there. And of course, the laundry's downstairs, and I started a load, and now it's just sitting in the there wet. But that's alright. Oh, there's some time of this. Really good. I I want to sing them so I don't have to. I'm not. I'm not. I just want to say that I'm not having any anxiety. I'm not scared. Nobody wants to go through this, but I'm not freaking out or anything. I mean, it is what it is. I have to live this way. I mean, there's no treatment that works that I've had so far except for I had that surgery but you can't redo that surgery again it just isn't because your body is adjusted oh no I can't get to it Way I can do it. George says he hears this song when he's like walking to work or something. Actually, no, it's not this one. The other one's much worse. Thank goodness this is calmer. I actually have worse ones because. Worst ones that there's the camera. Oh. I knocked it over. <laughs> I shouldn't have touched it. I have no clue where they, how to take this off the. Thing. That's so funny. I should have left it alone. <laughs> I can't figure it out. <laughs> At least I pushed it against the. Okay, we're on the ground. That's tightened. It's just a tiny little tripod that holds itself up. I don't want to have any more time right now. <laughs> it's like, it really isn't a hard thing to do. Okay, let's see if I can get it. There we go. <laughs> so funny. I know, maybe. See, the th this is what I've learned when in going through hard things is, for example, that s sound is really annoying. Um, I wonder if I can... Oh, my earpiece is off. Oh, I just barely got talk time. I did it. I was just gonna say, you know, even like something like that noise that wasn't stopping. Where is my face? Um, 
What's interesting is that, like, it wasn't bothering me because I've had to teach myself to tolerate things. And, you know, if something is really upsetting, to get through it. Now, at some point I will need to deal with it. And I'm sure that it is annoying to other people. But thinking about whether or not that noise was annoying to me. I mean, even headache-wise, if you want me to be honest. Like, it was... You know, my head is hurting. <laughs> this is... Uh, I'm so uncomfortable in my skin. Now, I can't see. My, I, my glasses, I, I've gotten... I'm very, I'm nearsighted, and I used to be able to, but I don't know, any of my, my, my vision gets worse, too. I don't know why, but it just does. It's, I get blurrier when I have a Meniere's attack. This thing is itching me like crazy. I should take it off. Um... <clears throat> Getting cold. <laughs> Obviously, the AC is too low. It's just so important to stay positive and like see. It did, you know, I was able to. I'm gonna turn this off though. Did I turn it off? Yeah, it, it has a video, it has audio prompts um so it tells me when it's on it tells me when it's off tells me about things and then i can give it the verbal commands to do things like i can say call george and it calls him that's actually what happened when i had my second drop attack on thursday i mean it wasn't my second drop attack i've ever had but it was the second one i've never had two in one day like that but um I had woken up and taking the dog, like, let the dogs out back to go to the bathroom. And, well, actually, no, it wasn't that I had woken up. I had been in bed. There, w The weather was bad, so I was having a migraine. And I was having them in years, too, but, le like, not so bad. And I was wearing a long dress earlier, but it was too long to walk in because I could step on it, and I didn't want to obviously creating a problem for myself no one wearing a shorter dress and <laughs> I'm so cold I'm not complaining why am I that's so funny I'm complaining about being cold <laughs> that's the problem although I do get sometimes I will get very I'm very temperature sensitive and sometimes if I get too cold I my body freaks out we have actually have this blanket that uses your own heat just to warm your body up. It's wonderful because when I have those attacks where I just can't get warm. <laughs> I think positive I hope it doesn't happen now. I turned it off because it does it's almost out of battery and if I need to call someone It's kind of uncomfortable. But see, so my right ear, you know, is the one that gets the hearing. I have a mild loss in the low frequencies, uh, which is exactly what many ears hearing loss is. It starts out in the low frequencies, and it's... And your other ear would be would be completely fine. So um, it's okay, Isabel. Oh, honey, it's okay. I can hear. I can feel that she's upset. Hey, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> What I wish I could do is turn the camera off, stand up, and walk away. <laughs> it's too bad. Can't. Okay.
है So far. Having a hard time. I feel horrible. I don't know why everything feels really heavy and I'm hoping I'm gonna come out of it soon. At least improve, you know. Vertigo. And I have it real severe, and I, I would have to go to the emergency room because I couldn't tell, couldn't deal with it. And I mean, because it would go for days and days and days and days. Can, can you imagine weeks of this? But I did it with God's strength. So, my ear is hurting now. Uh, I don't know if my hands are shaking from RA or I don't know if they're shaking because I haven't eaten. Probably because I haven't eaten. I have not been good about this. I can see the camera better. So that it was not on me, right? I, I think I'm going to be improving. This is good. I think I fell asleep, actually. So, when I... The ER will give me a, a diazepam IV. And it really really helps. Really. It's like the best thing I've ever had as far as treating diaz with um, the vertigo. Aside from the remission that it went into with my surgery. So anytime I think about because, you know, I am sad. It's a hard decision to make to, to, um, basically, I mean, I'm going to be killing my balance system in my right ear. 
and then in my left and my left ear is gonna have to take over. It's gonna have to learn. I have to learn how to walk. I wonder if I have to do physical therapy or stuff. I hope it's easy. <laughs> is anything easy? Life is completely taken over by something. You have to try, and you have there's steps. I mean, it's not you can't skip a step. Like I couldn't tolerate the diuretic, so I had to stop it. It, may, it gave me severe migraines. Oh, cool. I'm gonna try to put on my my glasses. I think I might be able to sit up soon. And um, hey, so what you just watched was. Um, me having um, really severe vertigo so I'm gonna have to not talk to the camera because I have to do some things um, I actually fell asleep there it looked like for about 15 minutes and woke up and gradually got up um, I need to take care of the dogs I'm really pretty weak even though I've eaten and um, um, I'm going to go ahead and um, figure this out and um, I'm just feeling really, really sick to my stomach, and I think it's because of the vertigo. I think the vertigo got worse, so I think if I can get back to four, I will be all right. So, um, oh, I'm not okay. All right, anyway, I um, hope you have a good day. I mean, that was scary, and this is scary. I mean, Casper's acting like he doesn't feel well. I mean, he's not well, but his late hind end was shaking. And he didn't go out. Giselle's acting very weird. Giselle, come here. What are you doing? Why are you acting so funny? Oh, you went up on this? You're silly. Good girl. So, um, hold on to hope. That's what I need to keep saying. <laughs> I, that's what I'm going to do. For some praying. I did think it interesting that I found, fell asleep singing a praise song and then said something about it being hard and then I fell asleep. <laughs> it's kind of nice to know you can fall asleep singing a praise song, but I didn't know why I actually would. <laughs>